Welcome back to CG Blend. Today we'll talk about Karina. It's a technique that you can use to create interesting interfaces, uh, interactive buttons and so forth. So we're animating things via code, not via motion editor anymore. So I'll let you see that again. That was all done by code. Now you need to download the Karina folder from the internet. Uh, all you need to do is go Google Karina and find where it would, you would like to download that. You can also download that at my CG Blend. I will provide the link uh, if you email me. And here is the code. Now I'm going to take that apart and show you what to do with it. The very first thing we're going to do, we're going to create a new document. And I'm going to create my little shape. And I'm going to select that, hit F8, make that a movie clip. My MC is fine. This movie clip will have an instance name. It's going to be my MC. And we're going to use that instance name in the action script. So this is the box layer. We're going to add a new layer to that name actions. And the first thing we're going to do in the actions when we open the panel, we're going to use code snippets to add all the stuff here that we need to add. And you may not have this custom code snippet, so I will show you how all of that looks like so you can import that. So here's the entire code snippet for that. And I've shown you how to create code snippets before. However, if you forget, please watch the video on code snippets. And here's the first part of the code. And then we're going to start typing after that. We're done with the code snippet. We're going to type in the actual code for the twin. Now twinner dot add twin, okay, and my MC, we're going to apply the, the twin to MC, we're going to scale on the X, and we're going to scale it twice as big as it used to be. Time will allow one second for the entire thing. The type of transition is going to be Whichever one you pick, but I'm going to pick is in sign. Okay, and on complete, we're going to uh, play another function, completed movie, which is really cool, this on complete thing. Once Basically, this stuff is completed, it's going to go and play the next function. Uh, curly brace, parenthesis, semicolon. Now, the th same thing will go for the y, twinner, dot add, twin. Okay, my mc, same thing, but scale y this time two time one transition if you do not make these things the same the, the line 28 and 29 it will not be symmetrical so that's all it is and this one is in sign Or we can actually play with it a little bit and type in bounce, which is going to make it interesting. It's not going to be symmetrical. On complete, we're going to play completed movie. So 
So that's the first portion. If you play it right now, you will have access of undefined property completed movie. That's simply because we're referring to it, but we haven't created the second part of it. So we'll need to create the function completed movie. Declaring function completed, make sure spell the same way, movie. And um, we'll avoid that one. And this time, twinner dot add twin following is very similar my MC comma and then what are we gonna do to my MC we're gonna change the alpha to 0.5 which is 50 percent the time it will take it we'll put three seconds this time transition We'll make it an is in bounce, and that should be it. And then winner dot add twin. We're gonna move this thing a little bit. MC. This time it's gonna be X we'll go to let's say 50 and uh, time let's say the same as we had above and transition same one ease in bounce and uh, don't forget to close the curly brace and I'll test your movie Alrighty. So, in case you need to pause the movie and copy the code, please go for it. If you have questions, email me. But here is the Corina, the first little movie we created with Corina. We can add a little button to this whole thing and uh, create a little bit more interactive stuff. So box, we're gonna create a layer above that. I'm gonna create a type in button. I'm gonna make a little round button. And we'll select that. Close the code snippets. Select that, hit up eight. Make that a button, my BTN. I'm gonna give it a name, my BTN. And go back to the code. Now we gotta make sure that we create my BTN dot button mode true statement. And then after that, the event listener, my btn dot add event listener, mouse event, click, and then a function name, I'll just name it click one. And the function itself. We're actually going to steal it from here. Function. The name should be the same. Click one right here. Event is mouse event. We're going to avoid the function because it doesn't return any value. Open curly brace skip to the end of the function, close curly brace, 
and we are done. Control Enter. We're missing something. Whenever you actually get uh, the error, do not throw that out. Actually, double click on that and it will take you right to where you're missing something. And you just can figure out what is it that you're missing. So the error is actually right here. We accidentally typed this in after void, the little column, so we're going to place it here. And as we're at it, I'm actually going to fix that because that was supposed to be a little dot as well. So mouse event dot click, comma, click one. And this should work right now. And indeed it does. Now we're going to add a little something extra. I'm going to go back to the code. And before the time, we're going to create a little delay. Delay let's say three seconds and you'll see what that does so you can have a lot of fun with this once you get a hang of it now don't forget to put little commas in there and try that when you click it delays and then it starts working so I'll show you that again control enter click and then wait a little bit and then there you go and you can change a lot of things let's say we go back and change is in sign to is out sign or is out bounce see how that affects it a little bit different and remember you can always look them up what they look like in your Karina classes different ones is in quad is out quad is in out quad and so forth there's elastic is in elastic and so forth. So there's a whole bunch of them. So there you go. Now remember that if you actually have not imported, uh, have imported this but have not put in the folder where you need it, you'll need to go and put in a folder. The Karina folder should be placed somewhere in your computer where you know to access that. and in flash you need to point action script 3 to it you're gonna go to preferences action script 3.0 I'm gonna go into preferences make sure you're in the right folder so click that choose and you're good to go so there you go that's how you create work with Karina